morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm MeZ69, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at Vinnie Jones's tank, yes, Vinnie Jones's tank, which is the FV301, a British tier A light tank that has just been given a, a new camouflage that you could have got for just a couple of thousand gold. Now, I did get this tank, uh, the tank's camo, because I absolutely love it. Of course, being British, with the British flag on the t on the front there, I do think that this tank, uh, this camo looks brilliant, especially with the Vinnie Jones there on the side, uh, with all the guns. Now, being British and from London, um, Cockney, I'm, you know, I'm not from far away. I don't live far away, or I wasn't from that far away from Vinnie Jones himself. Um, you know, he's a local lad. He's one of me. We're pretty much from the same, the same neck of the woods. So I've actually been a big fan of Vinnie Jones ever since his football days uh, or his soccer days. A lot of you probably won't even know him from his uh, being a professional footballer. But yeah, I used to follow him, and yeah, ever since he was a great footballer, funny footballer, um, and he just did not care. And the way he is in his movies, he was like when he was playing as a footballer. He would grab people's nuts. You know, he just didn't care. And I was glad to see him go into acting because it definitely suits him in all of his films. I love all of his films. You know, Snatch, of course, is one of the most famous films here in Britain. Um, um, and for Vinnie Jones, absolutely amazing. So to see Wargaming working with one of my, you know, not one of my local lads, I, I think is pretty cool. So the FV301, uh, the camo tally-ho, tally-ho. Honestly, I, I love it. I really do love the camo. Now, what is the actual tank like? It's been, it's been around for a while. And it's not been a tank that I play often, but yeah, I definitely had to get the camouflage. So it obviously has the concealment in movement. It's a light tank. It's going to um, everything else. I think is not bad. The tank is actually pretty good. It is difficult to play. It's got no armor, uh, but yeah, I think it is pretty solid. So the turret is 160 millimeters for a, for a light tank for interior. Eight, I don't think that's too bad. And you may get the occasional bounce on it. Uh, your hole, however, is just 76 millimeters. DPM 2518. We are running this with calibrated shells. Um, it just gives us that little bit of extra pen. Normally I wouldn't uh, when it's got APCR as the standard or premium round. I would just run it with with the caliber uh, with the rammer now i do apologize if you do hear a plane in the background it's stupid around my work area um certain times of the day we just get airplanes flying and like army planes or whatever they are but they are so freaking loud um so yeah dpm i don't think is too bad the reload time is just 4.5 seconds very very short reload but it doesn't have a high alpha gum Average penetration is 236, uh, 271 on your APCR and 46 on your HE. You do have 190 alpha, so not the highest alpha in the world, uh, but because of the short reload, uh, it, it you know it doesn't it's not too bad. It just means you've got to fire more to get the damage. Uh, so it's not going to be a, a tank you go out and do thousands and thousands of damage every single game. There is going to be occasions you do end up only with sort of 1500 to 2000 damage. Most of your games will probably be around that. Um, gun uh, you've got 10 degrees of gun depression, which is pretty nice, and a top speed of 62 kilometers per hour. So let's just get into a couple of games. I mean, they're not they're not special games. It's for me to have a special game in something like the FE three uh, hundred and one. Uh, I'm going to have to play it quite a while because uh, you might have good games, but as I've said previ uh, previously, it's not going to be a tank where you're constantly doing three to four k damage. Most of your games will be around the two k, maybe two and a half k damage. Uh, because it has such low alpha, you just got to constantly keep trying to fire that gun. And if you've got no shots off, then of course you're not going to do damage. Um, as I've said, doesn't quite have the armor profile, so you do need to be very, very careful 
Um, you may get the occasional bounce on the turret, but the hull, you're not going to bounce at all, what's anything whatsoever. So I've got all my team around here. There goes the WZ-131. Obviously, I want to push forward, but I still need to look out for that shark tank. And as soon as I come around the corner, there are two tank destroyers. Hello, the Waffle, and there is the, uh, um, sorry, the Borsic and the Emil as well. So the T-23 E3, I, I really want to take care of him. But even a tier 7 tank, like this guy has amazing reload as well as me. So I don't want to just keep constantly sharing hit points with this guy. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it turns out to be. Uh, sadly, I don't get the kill shot, but uh, you know, we, at least we bring him down. We have lost half of our hit points, so we do need to be very, very careful. And I really want to push these tank destroyers to the left, but I need that shark to look away. I need him to turn away, so at least I can start pushing into these um, these tank destroyers. So that's why I'm going to come around this side. And as soon as the shark has pushed sort of to the right side and the Borzik has shot, that is what made me push. I really want to make the move because I know the Borzik is on a reload. So we can get some damage into these guys. So Borzik is dead. And next up is the Emil. And at this point, I can take a shot, you know. I can take a shot, but I don't need to from that guy. Now, at the moment, I know the STA is there and he's now dead. I forget about the last remaining tank. I'm thinking that this guy is the last remaining tank. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to just push. No problem whatsoever. And as soon as I took that shot, I'm like, oh, too late. He's just sitting there, dude. Literally, like, he is just sitting there. No care in the world. Complete dummy. But yeah, he still managed to kill me because I didn't realize he was still there. So I think we had a good game. Overall, we did have a good game, but it was only 1,800 damage. So nothing special whatsoever. And as I've said, that is pretty much all you will do. Like, don't expect to go out there and get 4K, 5K damage. Yeah, the odd person might uh, if they get extremely lucky. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be around 2K, you know. 1,800 to 2,500, anywhere between that. So, of course, being a light tank, you still need to use it as a light tank. Um, you know, spot the team. Use the, the reload if you can, the quick firing gun. But just try and get into a position where the team is not looking at you. If they're looking at one of your teammates, then all better for you because you can just absolutely tear these guys apart without getting focused on. So at this point, I'm a bit skeptical. You know, there's three tanks on the enemy team and only me and this guy uh, here on my team. So I'm just going to sit around. I don't want to run away just yet. I do manage to get this shot on the SU-130. I'm just going to wait around for a little bit because if they do push my T-43, who will be waiting in the winds to try to save the day? Me. I will be there. So there's the T-71. We do manage to get a nice bounce, as I've said, on our turret. Um, we're going to get one bounce, and that's pretty much all we're going to get. Uh, and, yeah, that's what I mean. So, very, very good tank. It is a very good tank. And I just think it's been made much better uh, with this camouflage. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. So, now these two guys are starting to push the T-43. He's pretty much a one-shot now. So, I'm like, okay, do you know what? Now's the time I need to go. Now's the time I need to relocate, get a few shots, or at least get one shot here on that T26E5, the Sheriff, and then make my way around for the two medium tanks. Now, the T43, when I'm watching this, I'm like, you know what? He stayed alive a pretty long time. I could have probably stayed there, um, and I could have probably killed at least one of them, got more damage. Uh, so, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have run away. I probably should have just stayed there. They don't look fantastic. <laughs> they don't look like uh, brilliant players. And I could have probably stayed alive uh, even till the end of the game. So I'm trying to get around these guys. I don't want to get into a position where both tanks can shoot me. So I'm just trying to go to the left side to see if I can get the CS. The T-43E3, uh, sorry, the T-44, the T-34-3 uh, was there. And yeah, now I just need to hide from one of these guys. But at the minute, I'm only on 1,700 damage. My team are now pushing. He's going to die. And now I just want to push this CS-52 just to try to get as much damage as I possibly can before my team come around. So there's one shot. Can I get at least one more shot into this guy? I can take a shot at still, which at least is not too bad. Can I get one more shot into him? Yes, I can. 
but I don't get the kill. So overall, a fantastic tank. It's always been a good tank, and thank you Wargaming for bringing the Vinnie Jones uh, camouflage because it does look amazing. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm MidZ69. I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye.